word salam, which means peace, and salam, which means to submit your will to God. So Islam is peace acquired by submitting your will to God, and whoever does that is a Muslim. The concept of Islam is five points. Point number one, that Allah, a translated God, exists. The creation of us, solar system, water cycle, the whole universe, is not a product of coincidence. There is someone behind it, and that someone is Allah. Point number two, he is one. Let's say there are two gods, A and B. If God A is all-powerful, can God B destroy him? No. That means God B is not all-powerful, so he is not God. So if there is more than one God, one of them will overthrow the other. Point number three, he deserves to be worshipped because he's the most majestic, most perfect, and he loves me and you. That's why he created everything for us to enjoy life. Just imagine if our eyelashes grew as much as our hair. How miserable would life be? Point number four, the Quran is his last revelation. Whenever something comes into existence, the inventor always writes an instructional manual. Same way when Allah created us, he sent for us an instructional manual, the Quran, with do's and don'ts. Point number five, and Prophet Muhammad is indeed the final prophet. With his instructional manual, God chose a man with human needs that we can relate to and follow. Nothing can be added or subtracted, so no need of another prophet. That's why he is the final prophet of Allah. And this is the foundation of Islam.